Yo, 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 what's good up, YouTube? It's your boy Kilbo here, and today I'm gonna be bringing you guys an awesome gameplay. I ended up going 57 and 6, kill confirmed on the map Stronghold, and the class I'm using in this game was the Pharaoh with Long Barrel, Rapid Fire, Quick Draw, as well as Fast Mags. Since it's a burst fired weapon, I don't feel like grip was really necessary. I would highly recommend it with the XR2 or MA, any of those burst fire weapons, just because the recoil kind of stabilizes it itself after the burst kind of goes out. And as for perks, I'm going a little stealthy here, even though I'm not rocking a suppressor, but still, I'm using Ghosts, Hardwired, as well as Dead Silence. But what I want to focus on in today's video is mainly, and look at that, is that, like, ever happened to you guys where you pick up someone's gun and it kind of just, like, glitches you out? Like, look at that. Okay, now it goes away. Usually if you shoot or reload, it goes away. Still a super weird glitch. I'm surprised they haven't fixed that. Anyway, so, I'm really loving the Awakening, you know, multiplayer maps are gray mix it up a little bit um you know spicing the variety up and uh the, oh the new zombies map is just absolutely insane and i already mentioned to you guys how it's so frustrating how we got to the boss fight four times and we lagged out twice and people have been saying it's because maybe you're spamming the bows but the first time only two people shot the bows and we still lagged out the application crash and then the other time only one person fired the bow, which would make the easter egg take longer, but we just want to be safe. And nope, our application still crashed, and it's just really frustrating because first you have to complete the whole easter egg, and then you don't even know if you're going to com like complete the boss fight, So it can, but it can just be a little frustrating. So, you know, absolutely love an awakening. I highly recommend that you guys get the season pass just because you won't have to worry about buying any more um, maps, that is, unless... You know, I don't, I don't think they'll add any more maps besides, you know, the four that are always planned. You know, it's a one-time fee, and then you don't have to worry about it for the rest of the time. And you get the giant, and you even save some money. But what I want to talk about, again, is the black market and everything they added. So, they added, I believe, two new head variations as well as two body-like themes for your specialist characters. I know one is Geist, which makes um, your specialist character kind of look dead or purple with some people. And for the Ruin, the guy with the gravity spikes and overdrive, he looks ab absolutely insane with like a purple mask and the detailing on that body body armor looks amazing, as well as the Reaper. Both look so awesome. I have actually not gotten any of the new stuff. Um, I actually am in, yeah, COD point rehabilitation. I'm just kidding. No, uh, shout out to Thunder, man. That was really funny. He was saying how um, he was spending COD points, and he's like, you know, I'm a COD point user, and I'm in rehab and all that stuff. He's a good guy. Love Thunder. Shout out to you if you ever watch this video. But um, So the guy, he looks really awesome. And then there is a couple new titles, and look at me. Oh, my gosh. Triple feed and getting that guy in the corner. Sit down, son. Suh, dude. And, um, <laughs> dude, suh. Again, so, the black market. Is it pay to win, just like in Advanced Warfare? I don't think so. Just because I, there's a way you can, if you don't have any of them acquired, the new DLC, well not DLC guns, black market guns, there is a way you can actually use them if you turn off your Wi-Fi on your PlayStation or Xbox or whatever, and you play local, you can actually go into competitive and restrict all the guns except the new ones, so you can pick up the grand, um, the MX Grand or the M2 Raider, I don't know. It's in the game, it's like both named. It's kind of weird. And then the Fury Song Sword, you know, that huge melee sword, uh, the Jim Crow, that crowbar looking thing, and then that, uh, the the Judger or something, the two shot or one shot pistol. It's, the, there's, a, there's just so many names. And then the Shadow NEX, I can link the actual names down in the description for the new guns, but it's a crossbow and kind of like the ballistic knife because it doesn't show up on the radar once you fire it. You don't have to reload it, and there's six shots in it, and that thing is just crazy, and you could dual wield it as well. Um, I really wish I can get one of those new guns, and oh my gosh, sit down, and boom, take a seat, sit down, double fist, and getting some fist action in there, you know, pounding those people, if you know what I mean. <laughs> and is it pay to win? I don't think so. Just because I try them out, and it's not like they're OP or anything, I don't think Triac would ever do that. I mean, it's unfortunate that you have to buy supply drops or wait to earn crypto keys just because not everyone has a chance of getting it because I know uh, YouTuber Hutch he spent $350 and he got almost everything except the crowbar and one other thing I believe $350 that is crazy and he talked to a developer and he said that he got lucky so that kind of money is ridiculous 
I just wish there was a chance where you could just buy the gun if you wanted to, or a supply drop where you can be guaranteed a gun. I feel like that would make things a lot more easier. And um, is it pay to win? No, because the guns are not OP, but I would love to have them because you just mix it up and all that stuff. And that's kind of what I want to talk about. A little rant. Love this game though. 57 and 6. And like always, ich werde euch nicht mal sehen.